Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, How My Fellow Junebugs. Thank you so much for joining me again in this video. Today is day 15 of our February handbag unboxing frenzy, where every day in the month of February, I will be doing a handbag unboxing slash reveal of the new bags that I've added to my collection in the last three to five years. We are finally halfway through the month. It has been quite a month. It's actually been a bit of an effort filming these videos for you guys because yeah, it's it's a lot to actually do a video every day and also edit it every day. So if this is something you've enjoyed so far, do make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? I think you'd really love it here. So make sure you subscribe um, and join my little YouTube family and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on tomorrow's upload. Today we have got another Louis Vuitton unboxing and this item actually is quite a new addition to my collection. It's a bag that I've been wanting to add to my collection for a little while. Um, I have a bag very similar in style to this and I'm kind of now on like a little bit of a collection phase and I'm kind of now wanting to add couple more pieces from this collection to my own handbag collection so yeah we will see i don't think i'll be able to get like a huge amount they don't always hold up in the best condition but i've got my eyes on a couple of other things so we will see but let me just share this one to you guys now let's get on to the handbag unboxing so i've got my little louis vuitton dust bag here so this came to me second hand um this is actually an item that you cannot buy anymore it is discontinued but it is so iconic as soon as you see it ready for it here we go please welcome my latest edition comes with this strap da, 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 da. <laughs> it is the louis vuitton baggy pm and i have it in the blue denim monogram i absolutely love this bag so this is a bag that i've be thinking of adding to my collection for quite a few years and then I was tossing up between this and the camera bag and I eventually settled on the camera bag because I just thought that was more classic but I couldn't get this out of my mind and then I think it was um, Meredith I've been watching her videos I'll put her link in the info bar below Julie she has the most amazing handbag collection she is an actual collector um, she did a video on some of her vintage Louis Vuitton editions and and it just got me um, wanting this bag even more and so I just felt like I had to hunt down for it so as you can see it's I think it's actually in a really really good condition um, I was sort of wanting to make sure I got one in a pretty like good condition because the range in condition that this bag comes in is insane because it's denim it does wear a lot um, so you just have to be careful when you when you're looking for this bag denim on this is pretty nice um, so there's not a lot of stain there's not a lot of wear and tear the corners are in amazing condition also to show that to you it's got feet on the bottom but honestly it's such a baggy bag that it really doesn't make too much of a difference um, it's got the two of the koala nose pockets at the front it's got this giant pocket here that you can put your phone and everything else um, and as you can see like the color of the interior is actually not too far off from the color of the actual denim on the outside as well which is sort of what I was looking for and then it's got one big compartment here got this gorgeous gorgeous saffron yellow interior lining I absolutely love this interior lining for this bag it goes so well with the denim and the vachetta it's actually one of my favorite things about this bag and yeah it's got a massive massive pocket at the back there and then the beauty of this bag is it actually comes with a long crossbody strap also so this is a short handle which means you can sort of wear it as a shoulder bag this is most likely how I'm gonna wear it like I love it as a shoulder bag I think it's just so 2000s you guys know me if you follow me on Instagram I'm on a major like Y2K kick at the moment and look it may be a bit of a trend at the moment but I'm gonna ride it until it dies because I'm like reliving my high school years except I have money and I can afford like all of the bags that I saw on TV and then like on the magazine so anyway 
ways. You can take this strap, this short strap off, which is quite adjustable. It has a couple of loops, so you can really shorten it. But you can also get a longer strap, and then you can wear it as a like crossbody bag. So that's a really fantastic thing about this one. Unlike the, the camera bag, this one is totally adjustable. So now you can wear it as a crossbody. I'm quite petite, I'm five foot tall, so this does fall quite long on me, but you can just put in another couple of holes to make it shorter. And I think that's super duper cute if you need something a little bit bigger. Let me just compare it because I do have my other crossbody bag here. So this is what they look like. So together like they actually the height of them crossbody are very similar this is on the shorter strap um, and this is also on the shorter strap strap on this is completely removable whereas this one isn't um, so you can see this one falls a little bit higher which I actually like so that's why I probably wouldn't use this as a crossbody really but I probably would keep the strap inside the bag in ever if ever I want to carry it sort of crossbody at all but to be honest I'm most likely going to be wearing this as a um, shoulder bag anyway so let me just show that to you now this is the shortest setting on for the shoulder bag I love that you've got different sizes on this so this is the shortest setting and it just really falls under the arm if that's sort of the style that you're after. You can also lengthen it um, both ways to make it a lot longer. But yeah, this is what the bag looks like. The only part where there's a bit of staining is actually the opening where the zipper is, which I reckon is pretty common for all of them. I haven't really seen one where there isn't much staining at the top there at all, um, unless it's like completely unused and then you sort of, pay a lot of money for it this one i really didn't want to pay more than 1500 which is sort of what i paid for this bag because i feel like this is sort of more available and there's lots more of them i think this is a lot easier to get and cheaper to get if you're wanting to add it into your collection i think this is quite a versatile one to be honest i can see myself wearing this one a lot more because just because this is so much more my style but at least this one this is quite unisex so if you wanted to get it for your partner um your boyfriend your brother this one would really be a good one those are the two uh, denim bags that I have in my collection at the moment. I really do love this collection and there is one other bag that I have my eyes on that I may or may not be revealing this month so keep an eye out. If you do let me know what you think of the denim collection. I personally love the Louis Vuitton denim collection. It's so iconic. I would get this one in the green if I had the opportunity to. It comes in the pink as well. I think the pink and the green are gorgeous because I feel like even though they're quite bright in color, I do think you could at least wear that with more clothing. This bag I wouldn't necessarily wear with denim just because it has to be like the right shade of denim for me to be able to mix them well in my opinion. Too much denim I don't love the look of it unless it's just like the vibe but um, if you got the green denim um, I think that would just work with so many more different colors and outfits I actually really really want to add the green um, denim baggy PM to my collection as well but that is a lot harder to find in good condition it's not as common so it's a lot more rare so it's a lot more expensive as well but I am keeping an eye out so um, yeah I will put links to this bag in the info bar below if this is something you guys are interested in love the denim backpack my god that is so so expensive i also want to add like the denim hat i think that would be really really cute and then the denim like shoes that would be so adorable wearing the bag and the shoes together but anyways you guys that is today's video what do you think of the baggy pm is it something you've had your eye on or something that you've been interested in before i personally love it i'm really really into shoulder bags at the moment so that baggy pm is just a perfect addition to my collection right now and you know even if I don't love it later it's part of a little collection that I have so I'm not too worried about it not becoming in trend anymore but anyways you guys that is today's video please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and as always hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow bye